My husband is a huge Chicago Cubs fan. I started watching the Cubs with my husband because a star player from my hometown joined the Cubs last year. Now, in September 2023, they are in a playoff run. So this time, I will make a Cubs uniform in the hope of winning the championship. I always make my costumes with dollar store products. But my husband wanted me to make a costume with authentic Cubs attire. Dollar Store does not carry MLB licensed marches. Honestly, the MLB logo march is a bit expensive, even in toddler sizes. Then I remembered that the Salvation Army had pre-worn MLB t-shirts, so I purchased a Cubs Kids t-shirt for $3.99. I usually use a goose mannequin as a template when making costumes, but I make adjustments as the outdoor goose is a little bigger than the mannequin. Since this fabric is soft stretchy jersey material, I will bypass using the mannequin. I left this tail because I will be making a ribbon for the back of the neck later. This machine is a 1952 Singer sewing machine that my mother-in-law gave me. To me, this sewing machine is very cool with its antique design. The zigzagger attachment is also so neat and it works well. I usually use fray stop, but since I am using jersey fabric, I zigzag the end to stop the seam edges from fraying. This way a part that is forced out covers the edge of the fabric and does not get frayed. I thought about using fabric glue or iron tape for the seams, but ultimately I decided to use blind stitch for the seams because of the soft jersey material. This stitch allows you to sew without letting people see your stitch. As you can see from the back, the stitches are barely visible. When you use matching thread, they truly are blind stitches. I will be fitting the hood with the duck inside the house as the storm is approaching.
Insert the needle directly above the thread without passing it diagonally. I'm going to use this back piece to fill in the open area on the back.
Finally finished! Doesn't the red trim line look like a baseball uniform? The material used was a stretchy jersey shirt, so the delicate parts were sewn by hand. I also wanted the Cubs logo to stand out, so I ended up with a poncho look. Anyway, my husband seems satisfied, all's well that ends well, right? If you want to make costumes for other teams, use thrift stores such as Salvation Army, where you can get Team Logo March at a discount price. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See ya.